So this poem is called My Grandmother Asks Why I Don't Trust Men. If you have a son, how will you love him, she says. She's pacing the living room while the Thanksgiving Day parade plays behind her, a montage of inflated cartoon bodies floating slow down Sixth Avenue, smiles painted onto their faces. I consider not responding. I consider explaining that I can love him and not trust him. I consider saying that I won't love him at all, just to scare her. Instead, I say, if I'm ever murdered, like body found in a ditch, mouth stuffed with dirt, stalking around my neck, identified by my toenails, please don't go looking for a guilty woman. When my father and I go for a jog on the arroyo and he runs ahead, leaving me alone with my breath and an empty trail, I keep running, but now from something. When I cross a coyote drinking from the ditch, I am relieved it is an animal. When I see him, my father, stretching against a tree, I scream at him for leaving me alone. He grabs my shoulders as if to shake my loose parts into place. What are you afraid of, he asks. Why are you so afraid? I don't know why I'm doing this, playing show and tell with the times I've walked fast in the dark. Maybe I see myself in the worst of it. Maybe if I can imagine myself in the shallow water, you should too. Maybe I am tired of hearing people talk about the murder of girls like it is both beautiful and out of the ordinary. I ask the hotel attendant to put me in a room near the elevator. I listen to my best friend breathe on the line while she walks home. Sometimes I search woman's body found in when I visit a new city. Then I learn her name, her age, where they found her, under a baseboard, limbs folded into a closet. I learn her hobbies, that she loved to sing. I watch the security footage they discovered of her last moments. I watch her move and breathe like the rest of us. I watch her look over her shoulder three times before walking out of view. <laughs>